Hey, we're here at the Paley Center for Media, where tonight they celebrate Batman the Brave and the Bold as the Warner Archive re-releases it on Blu-ray. Let's hit the red carpet to see who we can talk to from the cast and the crew. How much fun was it to work on Batman the Brave and the Bold? Oh, it's one of the, it's one of the, uh, more fun shows that I've got my, got my gotten the opportunity to work on. I mean, you know, Andre Romano, fantastic. Dietrich Bader, just unbelievable. Kevin Michael Richardson. I mean, you know, James Arnold Taylor. I mean, the, the, the list the list goes on of, of of really wonderful people that worked on the show. You know, I have so many memories that are. Uh, I think probably there were some emotional moments that were really beautiful, like when Batman um, confronted the killer of his parents. Um, was when I really crossed over and uh, realized that I had linked to Batman because um, I was in the voiceover session, which is normally kind of, you know, it's just a bunch of guys and they joke around, and I was crying. Um, I really had an emotional attachment to it. And then the last speech that Batman gives on the last episode um, really meant something to me, and it was a beautiful thing. Um, but I just loved going in every week and playing Batman to see what Michael Jelnick had come up with and, and, uh, and Tucker with his design and, you know, it was just a great thing to be a part of. So I was wondering, with Batman being so dark and brooding these days, what do you think drew fans to this version in The Brave and the Bold? I think we all need some lightness in our life and even if you enjoy the darker versions, there's a value to the lighter humor. It's kind of like you, you can't have a wardrobe that's all black clothes. You kind of have to have gray. And so, and sometimes maybe even like purple or pink even. And so it was nice to be able to bring something, uh, a lighter, it was nice for me to be able to play in this world. Now, I was not aware of Brave and the Bold. I did not know that. James turned me on to it and I learned as we went, which is kind of how I learn all my information as we go, I learned. And I, I liked the idea that it didn't all have to be so brooding and so dark, that it was lighter and humor and working with actors like John DiMaggio and Diedrich Bader and Jeff Bennett and people who are funny, who are just plain funny. They make me laugh every day. That was fun for me. Well, one, it's Batman. Batman will always draw fans. Um, and I think that, you know, it was, it was a version that a lot more people could be you know, included within, you know, it was very, it was very, as far as, you know, the, the Batman genre is concerned, I think that this outing was the most inclusive. It brought, you know, it brought the adult fans as well as the kid fans in. And that was really important, I think, to, to you know, to the guys that, you know, that created the show. And, and, and yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much the story. I mean, it, it really brought everybody in. And that's the joys of, that's the joy of, like, you know, cartoons, just, you know, from 1 to 92, you, everybody loves them. And if you don't, there's something wrong with you. You know what I mean? One of the, my favorite lighter moments was the Music Meister episode. Isn't that a great episode? Oh, I'm Neil Patrick so Harris proud was great. of that. Now, this is because James Tucker and I are both big Broadway fans, and we joked for years about, when are we going to do Batman the Musical? When are we? And of course, everybody was like, oh, how funny that is. And then we made Batman the Musical. And um, it was so wonderful because Neil Patrick Harris has worked for me several times. He literally came to work for me on that show that episode, and then got on a plane to come here to host the Tonys. I mean, the man is incredibly talented, incredibly busy, and yet still comes and plays because he loves that world too. And I, I saw a screening of that at one of the cons, I think. And as soon as he his character entered and sang, I'm the music meister, the audience went nuts. And I thought, you know, that's, what we went, that's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing it, to get that kind of reaction from people. Oh, you know, I'm, I have such a small part in that show that, uh, you know, um, who and Neil Patrick Harris was great in it, but I didn't even see him there. Yeah, so that was one of the few sessions where we didn't do it all together. Um, and, you know, uh, Batman just came in at the end, really. Maybe in the beginning, too. Actually, my favorite line that I told as Batman is actually in that episode. It's when... Um, when they first break into song and, and uh, Black Manta and uh, um, and Aquaman and uh, they start dancing and singing and uh, Batman says, well, that's something you don't see every day. It's just a classic line. So you could be Aquaman right now? Outrageous, yes! Yes, I could. Oh my goodness, yes. Hello, old chum. 
Oh, this is so surreal. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. That does it for us here at the Paley Center. We had a great night with Batman the Brave and the Bold, but a little secret, I am Batman. Or your Batman. <laughs>